The gold medal for the Katherine Johnson Award for Engineering Documentation goes to Team Jamaica. The team this year, like other years, was very strong. Um, our strengths generally come about during judging, um, as opposed to on the field, where we often have challenges where that's concerned. However, this year, we're very happy to have won our first ever gold medal, and that would have been for engineering documentation. So there are always many areas of improvement, and one of the, as one of the big um, mantras of this program is that it's more than just a robot. So while the robot comp um, ability to compete on the field is important, that's not the only metric that we look at. There are several sectional awards that um, judges will do a review to uh, determine how well a team is doing. So like for instance, there's an award for outreach activity, engineering documentation, which is one we got gold for. There's also for international journey, um, how well the team collaborates with other teams, um, how, how helpful a team, a team might be to other teams as well. So there are lots of there are lots of rooms for improvement, a lot of opportunities for growth. Um, however, I do believe that this year the team has finally. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to have been a part of the team. I was finally able to get gold this year. So the gold medal that we won was the Catherine Johnson's Award for Engineering Documentation, and that's an award that says that we spent a lot of time and or work. We spent a lot of diligent work preparing that do our engineering notebook that documented the process, engineering process, the decisions we made, the programming process, and our outreach activities. Right, so prep for the competition took about two months. We started in about late July. And we had meetings almost every day throughout the weeks up until September. We met every Saturday. Those meetings involved a lot of engineering, uh, programming, design the robot for the competition. Uh, going forward towards narrative competition, a lot of uh, practice days, uh, testing robots, airing out things, so a lot of work to bring into the competition. Going into the competition, which we started, we only met on Saturdays, which allowed for all our team members to be able to come to our meetings at Jamaica College. So we didn't really have that much of a schedule in the conflict. Well, robotics is the way of the future. Um, in addition to building a robot, there are lots of um, hard and soft skills that the students will be developing, including the ability to communicate, public speaking, documentation, collaboration, um, creativity, and all of these skill sets will be very helpful in the future. Also, we are very happy to say that um, we're very grateful to the Union of Jamaican Alumni Associations for continuing to sponsor the team year after year and this year again came out in a very big way. We're very happy to use up and very happy to first go about to have invited Team Jamaica to compete as well. It's very important to understand that we have to train our students for jobs of the future. When we look at you know jobs that are available today, many of them are no, not going to become available are, not, are no longer going to be available in the next 20 30 years. So it will be very future focused and technology driven and I feel like robotic, a program like robotics are, is helping students to change their way of thinking in that way and embrace technology and prepare them for the future.